around yourself. What will it benefit a man to have all that life needs to take without a child? How can you be inside water and allow soap penetrate your eyes? Mama, Mama, you worry too much. I should worry. God's time is the best. I know that God's time is the best. But my son, open your eyes. I say, open your eyes. I am your mother. I cannot deceive you. Open your eyes. You've been trying, but this time I want you to try harder. Oh. Mama. Eh? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, sit down, sit down, my son. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Now watch, Mama. This one, two of you are in happy mood, Mama. Uh, yes. what, what's going on? Is it not good? Mama says you sit down. Why don't you sit down? Let her oh, tell. Okay. Uh, I am sitting. We are discussing about your joblessness. Okay. And Ikaga has promised to help. Is that so? Yes. It's long overdue. It's long overdue. I've been wondering how I have a millionaire brother. And I've been abandoned for a long time. I told you Ikaka has promised to help. Okay. And you are talking about it's it. It's interesting. Yes. If he has decided to help me, it's very interesting. In that case, I can go and begin to partner him. No. He should get to the city, then come back and take you. But it does not matter. I can wait as long as he's going to come back and pick me. Let me prepare. Whenever he comes back, I join him. I thank you, brother. I thank you very much. Mama, eh? thank you for making it happen. Let me go and just stand by. Anytime he comes, I'll join him. <laughs> well, what child? Why do you have to say that? Yeah. Would you help your brother? Is he not your brother? How about you, Seth? Look at me. I am supposed to be a father, but I am not. God. Have I offended you in any way? Please, Father, if I have done anything wrong, please forgive me. Forgive me and give me a child of my own so that all these humiliations will stop. Who will inherit my world? Who will continue the family lineage? Who will look after me when I am old? Deliver me from this burning fire. This is complicated. I have to find solution anywhere, anyhow, and at all costs. So, how is your family? <laughs> As you can see, they are shaking it off. <laughs> How's your family as well? Well, my brother, I don't know. I am in a very big mess. Yes, a very big one. With all my influence, with all my wealth, I don't have a child of my own. Not even half a child to call me daddy. <laughs> is that all your problem? Is that not problem enough? Your problem is already solved. You have a solution to my problem? It's not far fetched. Where now? You have to adopt a child. You mean. Okay, one of the Keke Kingdom. 
adopt a child? To save your generation? Just think about it. My trip was fine, but I want to be alone. I say I want to be alone with myself. When you left this house this morning, you were in a good mood. Now you've gone to the village and come back, and all of a sudden you're in a very bad mood. Anyway, there's food. Maybe after eating, you'll feel much better. Yes, that's what I hear in this house. Every time, food, 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 food. You cook and you eat alone. Are you not tired of eating alone? Everywhere I go, the people ask me, how is your family? How are the kids? And I tell them they are all fine. I am tired of making excuses. Is this what it's all about? Yes, that's what it's all about. It's all about childlessness, right? I shouldn't have said such a thing to you. It's just that what friends and relations are saying to me are beginning to get at me. But nevertheless, I shouldn't have said such a thing to you. So I'm sorry. Is it my fault? Just tell me, is it my fault? No, it's not your fault. That's why I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, okay? It won't happen again. That's what you would say. You have to promise me it won't happen again. It will not happen again, I promise. Have you forgiven me? I'll just go and get your food ready. Mean of all this, eh? What is happening? Sit down, sit down. Sit down and do what, Mama? Mbabuwa, Gabu Bukwa, Nyababuna. I've told you. What did you agree with Ikaka about me? What is Ikaka doing about me? Why has Ikaka refused to understand my predicament, Mama? Mbabuwa, Gabu Bukwa. Eh? Yeah, I've said it. He's over there enjoying with his rotten and fruitless wife. He's in Biyana Duana. What am I sitting down for? Mbabuwa! Go and talk to Ikaka! 
You can't come and start talking about me. I've just told you. I've told you, man. Mbawawa, gawa bawa. Sige nga ka wabuna. You will see. Yeah. Oh, God. I wish Ikaka will understand and take Uda along with him to the city before Uda kills me. Eh? Let him not give me high blood pressure. Oh. As I was saying, Ikaka, Uda is your only brother. Leaving him here in the village won't help matters. Take him to the city. Or even at the worst, let him walk in your company. He's your only brother. Honey, what Mama is saying is right, you know. Uh, look, brother, if you had foresight, you would have seen the fire burning in me. But I mean, I am vibrating. I am feeling hot. I want to join you to the city and contribute my own water. Please. Uh, um, let me thank you all for saying your mind. Um, Ude? Uh, brother. I will see what I will do. Huh? Uh, short. you are going with me to the city. But Ude, look, I want you to put your acts together. I will, I will do that, brother. City life is not the same thing with village life. Oh, I know. Good. Good. Um, just go and pack your things. You are going with us to the city. <laughs> brother? Okay, Tipo of the Kekken Kingdom. I thank you. I thank you. Hey, thank you, my son. If you like, go there and misbehave. You know, go. I've played my part. Go there, play your part well. Mama, I will misbehave. I will misbehave. Uh, but that, like I was telling you, bro, just have confidence in me. I'll do my best. When I come to the city, the city will witness. Cosmic metamorphosis. <laughs> oh dear, you will not kill us with drama. No, I will not kill anybody. Please, I, I have like to it. excuse myself. Kitchen duty calls. That's something I want to discuss with you. Okay. okay. But this time I think of that. I don't know how I feel. But anyway. It's time you look for a second wife. Mama, I can't believe that you are saying this to me. Huh? Why a second wife? I need grandchildren. Uh, uh, brother, what Mama said was right. You don't stand one place to watch mass parents. We are Africans. Children are necessary. Please, accept her suggestion. I don't know why people are saying this to me. Mama, you know how much I love my wife. How do you want me to go and bring a second wife? You want to break up my home? And so? Look, I am not part of the discussion. I'm out of here. Mbabu Awa. Ababu Awa. I'm going to run out of Ababu. Ibe! My lost son. You are highly welcome. Thank you, Yubi. Sit down. Thank you. <clears throat> to, to what do I owe this uh, visit? <laughs> you know, you are, your palace is the palace of the people. And you are also the Igwe of the people. So every well-meaning son of the Keke Kingdom owes allegiance to you and the palace. So I have come to pay my homage to You're welcome. Yes. And then... Um, most importantly, I have come to seek your permission to erect a befitting town hall for our community. You see, our people cannot keep on holding their meetings under trees and ramshackle buildings. So I have decided to erect a gigantic town hall for our people where they can have their meetings. Our people deserve the best. So I have decided to embark on this project if only you will permit me, Igwe. Chivokitikbo of Ekeke Kingdom. Igwe. 
Thank you. You are highly welcome. Thank you. May the gods of our forefathers continue to guide you. See. Um, since you took the chieftaincy title, I've watched with delight all your development efforts. Thank you. You have brought many development to this community. On countless development, I am particularly delighted with you. you. The whole community is delighted and happy with you. you and they are always praying for you. Thank you, Igor. I pray that our Godfathers will continue to guide you. you I am giving you my 100% support. Thank you, Igor. To continue with your development efforts. You shall always go in peace and come back in peace. You say. No evil shall befall you. You say. You shall always be in front and the evil will be at the back. You say. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you too, Igwe. Chief Okitipo of Kekeland. Igwe. I greet you well. Chief Okitipo of Ekeke Kingdom. <laughs> you are highly welcome. Thank you very much. It shall be well with you. Manager, please come to my office right away. I shall soon be here. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. Good day. Hi, uh, young lady, how are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Um, this is my younger brother. His name is Ude. He is going to be acting on my behalf while I'm away. So I want you to work with him. Teach him all he needs to know about the workings of this company. I want him to catch up as soon as possible. Am I understood? Okay, sir. Good. You may go now. Right, sir. So eventually I'm going to begin to manage the whole place. Well, it, it all depends on how early you can catch up to get yourself attuned to the workings of the company. <laughs> yeah, brother, don't bother yourself. You see, before you know it, I'm going to showcase talents you never knew I had. I'll put everything in practice, not word of mouth. You will see. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Mbobo. For the purpose of this discussion, um, well, let me call you by your name, Rose. Let's forget about the prefixes, the nomenclatures. Um, I want to let you know, businesses these days are going very competitive. People need a millionaires as a client. Uh, do you understand? So this company in that direction, therefore, it wants to use you as a front as a bait to attract a millionaire customers do you understand them so um if for example you come to work tomorrow and uh, dress more sexy which will be better for the purpose uh, you can dress in skimpy dresses dresses that will um, expose your beautiful laps i know you, you've got beautiful laps the, um, your bust, your beautiful bust. You know, these are very wonderful gifts God has given you. So we are going to use them as bait now to attract the strong customership. Do you understand that? Uh, uh, so if um, if I accepted, you tell me. We want to go into business. We have to survive. We have to survive. That's the language. Accepted? Yes, sir. Or if accepted, let me say it. Mm. Mm. That's it. That's you can now go back to your office. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, mm. Oh, she has it. We've got it. Uh, yes, we've got it. We've got it. Yeah, we're into business. Really, we're into business. 
Mm -hmm. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Doctor. How are you today? Well, I'm okay. I'm fine, but um, I just came to find out the result of the tests that we had. Uh, actually, there is nothing other than what you've been hearing. Which is? Madam, Madam you see, the result says that there is no problem with you or your husband. I suggest maybe you go home. And I believe that you will have a child of your own in Amen. no distant time. Amen. My advice is that you go home and keep trying. Okay? Okay, doctor, I heard what you said. I will go home and tell my husband. All we have to do is just keep at it. Yeah. All right. But I really want to thank you for your love, words of encouragement, and I don't know, you've been really nice to us. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And you too. Mm. Can you please, please? I am tired. Don't you know what it is for one to be tired? I, I understand how you feel. Honestly, I do. I'm also tired, but we just have to continue trying. Look, you, you, you are making this thing very, very boring to me. Eh? You are making it very boring to me. I mean, when somebody is tired, he is tired. Well, you have to let me be. But the doctor said that we just... There's nothing wrong with both of us. We just have to keep trying. I just don't understand. It's alright, okay? I didn't mean to hurt you. It's just that, you know, it's a tiredness. But it's alright. It's okay. Hmm? I think, um... It's <laughs> <laughs> alright. Okay. Yeah. Stand up for laughing. Yeah. in a hurry and I forgot to knock. Who is your husband? So it's come to the extent you don't know your husband again? Eh? Huh? Would they please enough of this insult? What's the matter with you? I just came in here to discuss something with you and I need to run out immediately because duty calls. Before I take a second look at you, you have disappeared! I disappear from my husband's office? Whose husband of this? Let me tell you, Rita. As far as this moment is concerned, I am in charge. Ude is in charge. So disappear. What did you just say? Disappear from here. Okay, okay, okay. Barren woman, get out from my office. Ude, you know, you're not God that gives children. I can be God. Yes. And when I'm God, I can't give people like you children. Barren woman, get out from Uday's office. You're a sick man. Is it not your brother, Ude? He called me fruitless. And he's been calling me all fruitless all this while you've been away. 
I mean, I, I can't take this anymore. Is that why you're sad? Come on, Gerald. You've been hearing that for a while now. Where is your belief in God? Where is your faith in God? At God's appointed time, they will all be put to shame. So, cheer up. I think Uday is overstepping his bounds. I must do something. This rubbish must stop. He can't be running my home for me. Sorry. Um, what do you have for me? I have food. I'm hungry. Is it me who should be waiting for the food? Or the food waiting for me? Uday, my husband, don't be angry. I just woke up a little late this morning. That's why it took time to come. You, you did what? You woke up late. You woke up late and bought the food late. I pardon you for this. I will pardon you again. Yes, By the way, how many pieces of meat are, are, are there? How many pieces of meat are we having here? Please eat this food now. Eh? Which food? What happened to the meat? Oh, have you cut out everything? Have you diverted everything my brother has leveled his life? Or do you have children in this house we can accuse of eating the meat? Do you have children here? You don't have children? Ude. Ude, I will not. I repeat, I will not take this nonsense from you anymore. What? Enough of this your nonsense. Don't you ever come here and chastise me about not having children. What's the matter with you? What is just Are you crazy? Who is chastising you? We are talking about facts. Facts on the ground. And the fact is that you don't have children in this house. The people know it. Everybody knows it. The whole town knows it. So what if I don't have children? So what, okay? Are you here for decoration? There are a lot of people in this town without children. But yet they're happy in their marriages. Don't come here and harass me. Or I don't blame you. I'm the one that advised that they, they should carry you out from that village and bring you to the city. Well, stupid nonsense, man. I'm a woman. When you're out of the land, I'm not going to ask you. A woman brought from another land is now castigating her husband's people. Mbabuawa. Ababuawa. Rita, I'm going to settle this call with you. Yes. Look at look 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 at the full men meant for the dogs. Ode, let me remind you for the final time that this woman here is my wife and not your wife. You do not have the right to scold her. Don't even have to shout at her. Enough is enough. But brother, I, I told her the truth. What truth? I, I told it to her the way I saw it. I didn't fabricate anything. What is the truth, Ude? Stop terrorizing my wife. I had you humiliated her three days ago. And I kept quiet. Hoping that you were going to call yourself to order. No, but you didn't do that. Would they be careful? Let this be the last time I will hear that you humiliated my wife. Okay, brother. Be warned. Sorry. Okay, brother, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
do I blame God for this misfortune? Look at you, with all my wealth, yet no child. I have experienced too many humiliations and insults. The same thing with my wife. Now I know that this world is incomprehensible. God, it's only you that will deliver me from this misfortune. Rita, please hold on. Okay. I'm going to go back to the team. You're still sleeping. Wake up. Mm -hmm. What? Just wake up. I want us to talk. By this time of the night, I can't wait till tomorrow morning. Just get up. It is important. Mm, okay. I'm up. Do you know your eyes are fully closed? Oh, yeah. Oh, my ears are open. Good. All right. Well, I want to talk to you about the childlessness of this marriage. It's You've been giving me a lot of concern. I've been thinking so seriously about it. I have decided to suggest to you that we should go for adoption. Adoption? Yes. God. You mean we should go to an orphanage and adopt a baby? Yes. It's not that easy. What, what if we end up having our own child? I mean, how do you explain to the children that, you know, they, they, I don't understand. There'll be so much confusion. There is no confusion. There'll be no trouble. If we have our own child or children later on, they will all grow up knowing one another. Nobody's going to tell them that this one is adopted and this one is not. Look, I am doing this because of you. I'm doing it because of myself. I am trying to preserve my personality, my dignity, and the dignity of this marriage too. Look at the other day, Chief uh, Ikemba insulted me in public, making jest of me that I don't know what they're talking about, about economic meltdown because I have no children to pay school fees for. Or if a baby has ever cried in my house before. Look at Ode, my brother. He is treating you the way he is treating you because you have no child. I'm even afraid to, of going to the village to see Mama because the moment I get to see Mama now, I know what the next topic is going to be. Please, my dear wife, just understand. Let us do it so that we preserve the sanity, our own sanity. Okay, honey. Anything that makes you happy, I, I'm, I'm, I'm game. You know? Good. If you think it will make us happy, fine. That is very good. Right? That's it. Good, um, Now go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. I love you. I love you too. Hey. Oh. And now that you have signed the necessary documents, the child is yours from now onwards. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Madam, yeah. you take good care of that baby. I will, sister, I will. Thank you very much. It's such a beautiful baby. <laughs> you can say that. Mm. Thank you very much. You're wonderful. Hmm. You're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you, eh? once you abide by my words and instructions, I'm going to bless you. But my scripture actually says that if you can breastfeed me, then I will load your pocket. 
I took it. And you're there. I will be there. You understand? Hope Oga will not come today. Which Oga? Even if Oga comes, I am in control. I am in charge. So let's enjoy this paradise to the fullest. Baby. Hey, <laughs> yeah. That reminds me. You promised me something. What did I promise? The morning now. Uh, I'll be forgotten. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, baby. Yes, I actually did. But I promised you money, car, yeah. uh, jewelries, mansions, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, you're correct. I'm going to give you all that. Eh? Once we finish this spot now, I'll go to that desk, mm -hmm. write you a check of half a million naira. Really? Yeah, half a million naira. Exactly. I know when you check first now. Eh? I know when you check first, Chief. Eh? Mm. Work before payment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Work long. Um. in this family. Fast became in parables. Tell me what happened. Somebody is pretending that only him can see in the land of the blind. Mama? What happened? Mama? Hey! Ikaka went and adopted a son. Chima Guero! What are you saying? Ikaka did such an abominable act. He has brought a foreign blood in this family. Hey, mama, mama, let me go to Ichiyanyama and tell him what happened and know what he will ask us to do. Obalambe! Hey! Obala Ibulu! A congealed blood! Mama! It hey. will happen here! No, it will happen here! Mbabu Awa! Awa Bua! Awa Bua! I've given you the breaking abominable news. We will marry you again with a man. Do something! Do something about it! Abba Bua! Something must be done! Talk long! No, no, no! I won't leave this single. I must go to Ichiyo Anyama and tell him, find out from him what we should do. Hey! Chia Chia no me vidi Hey! Oh, oh, oh! Ika ka mwa me me alo! Ka ba alo! Hey! Nanyo Anyama! The river is about to drown me. I've come to you for help. Help me talk to Ikaka, your friend. Please. What has my friend Kitikwa done wrongly this time? He went and adopted a son, which is not in our tradition. Yes. But Bridget. Yes. You are aware of what my friend has been passing through all these years of marriage. I think that he has taken a step in the right direction. Uh, anyway, I believe that God's time is the best. But I will not accept any child born by a harlot in this family. I will speak to him about it. But I still insist that my friend Ikaka, what he has done is right. This is a new age, you know. He's moving forward. Not backwards. The world is not static. And we have to move with it. Eh? But you know the child might be evil. You know that. No. The child might be evil. No. Calm down. Calm down, Bridget. I've told you I will talk to you. Thank you, sir. Let me start going. Thank you. I have come to plead with you to look sympathetically to what my wife and I are going through. You know, since we got married, that's my wife and myself, we've not had a child of our own, despite our efforts. That the sister, they were adopting a baby boy 
is now living with us. So Igwe, I have come to plead with you to use your good offices to allow me to initiate this boy as a full-fledged citizen of Ekeke Kingdom. That is the reason why I have come. Chief Okichibo, you are welcome. Thank you. I know your predicament. You are a great son of this land. Thank you. I wish to inform you that the child will be accustomed the full right as an indigenous son of this Ekeke land. This is my order. Thank you. Now that uh, myself and my boy have been accepted fully in this community, expect greater things from me. Meanwhile, Igwe, uh, there is uh, <laughs> this thing for you outside. There are our forefathers, the gods of our forefathers, continue to bless you. Say, shall be well with you. I'm so happy. Mm. I am so happy that our baby is now an indigen of the community. <laughs> well, uh, not only that. See, I have this, this feeling of a complete father, you know, fulfillment. No more, no more humiliations, no more harassments. <laughs> God, I love you, honey. I love you too. You know, the first time you talked about adoption, mm. I was a bit confused. I, I just didn't know what to think. I, I wasn't sure I'd be able to love the baby, you know? Mm. But, God. But you are happy about it now? Are you joking? I feel like I'm, I'm a mother. <laughs> I am a mother. I'm so happy. Yes. It's only God that can explain this, this feeling I have within me. I know. I am happy too. This cause for for celebration. Really? Yes. So, are you going to take me to my favorite Chinese restaurant? I will take you to China instead. No, <laughs> look, don't even joke with me, please. No, you see, I, I, I am traveling on a business trip very soon. So, I, it will be a good idea if you and the baby come. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, now baby is here, you want to take me to China. I've been begging you all this while. It's not fair. Baby oh. is taking you to China. Oh. So. Ah, so this is a man's thing. <laughs> anyway, that calls for celebration. Yes. 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 Oh, China, here we come. <laughs> really, I don't know what to do anymore. I've not been feeling well. I have headaches, dizzy spells. But I'm just not feeling myself. But I have told you several times not to worry about these things. You're taking them too far. I've told you that you'll be fine. You'll be fine in no distant time. Okay, if you say so. I think we're going to take a good look at you. Maybe send you for any test. Yeah, I think that would be better. Okay. Yeah, I've done it for you. Just make me feel better, please. Okay, let me put down the various tests. You know that, okay? Okay, doctor. But make sure you see me after the test, okay? Um, I hope two hours will be okay. Yes, yes. That will give me time to go and pick up my son from school. Drop him at home and then come over. It's okay. Thank you. See you soon. You don't 
don't need to cry. I'm so happy for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wear that Things out from the boots. Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you.
doctor. What's his condition? Um, as you can see, we are doing our best. He will be fine, okay? All hope is not lost. How can you say he's fine? He's in coma. What do we do about that? Madam. You don't need to worry, okay? Your husband will be fine. Okay. Though he has a shortage of blood, but I think in no distant time he'll be fine. Okay? Excuse me. What are we going to do? Eh? What's the meaning of all this? You were in the office. How did this thing happen? What exactly happened today? Didn't you hear heart attack? Nobody yeah. told you heart attack? Okay, fine, heart attack, but what caused it? You were with, with him when it happened. The way you are seeing it is the way I'm seeing it. The doctor said we should be patient. Be patient. You tell your brother is in coma. Babuawa. Babuawa. Holy Spirit, what am I going to do? Mbabuawa. Mbabuawa. Let me have a test. Mm. That's good. That's good. Okay. Have it. Mbabuawa. Mbabuawa. Is it? Let me tell you. We are going to be into this for a long time to come. Really? Yeah. So I want you to begin now to package your mind, your soul, your body, all, everything that I am seeing, even those I'm not seeing. <laughs> oh, baby, you look good, you look good. Young girl, what do you think you're doing here? And what's your business? What's your business? This is my office. I call in anybody I like anytime I like. My friend, will you get, get into your office? Don't go anywhere. Stay here. I am in charge. I am in control. I said get back before I slap you. I said don't go anywhere. Who employed you here? Rita. Rita. You come here to challenge me? That's for you, D. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your brother is sick in hospital and you're here frolicking. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You know, all this while I thought you were sensible, but obviously I'm mistaken. Udi, you're a very stupid man. You call me stupid? And yes, you are. You call me in which? The end justifies the means. Look at this gossip. But you've come here to intrude into my privacy. Rita! I will deal with you. I don't have time for you. I will deal with you later. Ababuawa. Rita, I've made a promise. I will deal with you. Mbabuawa. Ababuawa. I am in charge. What I do does not matter. The important thing is the end result. Mbabuawa. Ababuawa.
Na so we go day Na so we been day This life where we day I I I Judge on the judgment day.